Hey guys, we want to display our images for our products in our app. So how are we going to do that? Well, right now we have these images saved in a folder called images. And we can actually have our server serve these images. So we can just create an endpoint where we can access the images. So how do we do this with GraphQL Yoga? Well, underneath GraphQL Yoga, they actually use Express. And it's very easy in Express, and I've done this before. You just serve static files like this. You say app.use, and then you specify the directory you would like to uh, display images from. So for us, uh, we don't have direct access to Express because we're using GraphQL Yoga. But they do allow it. So if you look at the bottom of the readme, they talk about how you can customize GraphQL Yoga. And one of the ways is, hey, if you want to add any middleware, or in our case, add static uh, images, serve them. So we can do dot .express, and we have access to things. So we can copy this, and we're going to do the same thing. Now we're going to use this one, because we want to do it at slash images. OK, so this is our index.typescript. This is where we create our server. We're going to put it here. So instead of app, we're going to say server.express. That'll give us access to the express instance. And then here we're going to do slash images. And then for us, we're going to get images. All right, because that's the name of my folder here. Now you'll notice how they use express. And I tried using server.express, but that doesn't work. So what I ended up doing is have to actually install express just so I can do express.static images. So let's do that. So yarn add express. And oddly enough, similar as when we installed short ID, I could not get it to work with the regular import. I need to do express is equal to require express. If I use the import syntax for whatever reason, it is uh, undefined. I'm assuming this has something to do with TypeScript. If any of you guys are familiar with TypeScript and why I have to use this syntax over this, um, is there something I need to do when I install it to be able to uh, be able to do, use the syntax for it? I'm not sure what's going on there. But if we go ahead and npm start this, uh, our images are now being served from our server. And how it works is we go to the endpoint. Oops. So in our images. If I were to go to localhost 4000 slash images slash test, there would be a picture there or slash whatever these. So that's how you know what uh, endpoint to go to to get their image. So in our products.js over here, we can take advantage of that. So now instead of just adding the picture URL, we need to specify uh, a location. And the location of our server is localhost 3000. And then we don't need anything else because that has this has the location of the specific route. This will give us where the image is located. We just need to tell it the server. And actually, I think it's on 4,000, not 3,000. And notice how no images show up. That's because we don't have a height or width. So if we can just say add a style height of 50 width of 50. We should get images showing up now. And we don't, I think I just need a slash right here. There we go. So we see our two images from the products that we created. Nice. Uh, so now what I want to do for the rest of this video is just get these styled nicely because now we're good with displaying the images. No matter how many images we add to our server, our server is going to be able to um, handle it and retrieve the images and then when we upload new ones we're going to grab it from the images folder so we're good we don't need to make any other changes with that now i'm making a pretty bad mistake right now and that is using style in line like this this is very bad to do um, and to avoid this that's why react native has a uh, style sheet and we can create that styles is equal to style sheet create and in here we can put our styles so we can say text and actually we don't even need this anymore this little text here 
but here we can say images and we can specify we want a height of 50 and a width of 50. So we need to put all our styles, and I think I'm breaking this in a few other places, use this style sheet um, instead of this because I'm creating a new object every time, so it is not very good for performance. So images, so you'll notice it looks the same. I just moved this guy up. Uh, we're probably gonna have to fix the spacing on that at a later time. So now let's get these flowing better. I think what I want is to have the picture here and these guys on the right over here. So to do that, I'm gonna say style and we're gonna say styles.row. So I'm gonna create a row container up here. So row style. And then to do this, we're gonna use uh, display flex. And what I want is this to be in one container and these two in the other. And I actually don't even know if you need to say display flex anymore. You might not even need that in React Native. So our image is going to be the left side and these guys are going to be on the right side. So I'm going to reorder these. And this I'm going to say style. And this is going to be the right side. So I'll say styles.right and this will be the image is fine. So on the right, we are just going to say flex one. And I want these guys to be side by side instead of this. So I think what I need to do is say flex direction and say column. I don't know if it's column. I think it's column by default. I was expecting row to be the default. So I was surprised. I was That's why I was thinking it might be column. But it looks like row is what we want. Uh, this looks nice now. So maybe we add some spacing on the sides and just overall margin. So maybe a margin of 10, just to space things out a little bit. There we go. And let's add some spacing between those two. So this guy, I can say margin left is equal to 10. And then we can make these a lot bigger. That way they're actually visible. So why don't we create two styles this will be the name, so styles.name, and this will be the price. And by the way, guys, I'm pretty bad at styling, so feel free to style this any way you like. I just want to make these look more like rows than they are now. So here we're going to have name and price styling. So I think it's font size is, let's make it 20. We do the same thing here for now, see what that looks like. All right, that looks much better, way more visible. Um, we can put a dollar sign in front of this price. So to do that, I'm gonna do dollar sign, and then we're gonna treat this like a string. There we go, so I did string template, and in front of it, I had a dollar sign. So now we can see the price of this. Um, let's make, the, I think we can make the image a little bit bigger, so let's make it like, 200. I don't know if that's too big. Yeah, it's too big. Let's make it 100. See what that looks like. All right, I think that's a decent size now. Um, and I think we can have these flush right. So to make it flush right, we can say uh, flex, or I think it's align items. That's what we want. Align items. And we'll say right. It might be able to uh, justify content if this doesn't work. Uh, supply expected one of, okay. So it didn't work. So let's try, I don't know if I, I just am not displaying flex. So display flex. Because align items should work here. Okay, let's try justify content. Justify content instead. Oh, it should, I just shouldn't be, it should be flex end. Okay, so I just wasn't supposed to specify right. So go back to line items might be the correct thing. I didn't read the error well enough. All right, so we have that on the right. 
And I think we can make these bigger. We'll make this 40 and this one 30. And let's add a margin right of 30 to give this a little bit of padding. Oops, I mean margin right. So on the right side. All right, there we go. And I think this is good enough. At least it looks more like a row, you can tell. And so right now there is a bug that I wanna fix in the next video, but I'm gonna demonstrate to you right now what it looks like. It's not really a bug, but it's something that uh, we wanna fix. So when you create a new product, so product three, for example, and this is gonna be whatever price, and we can select our image, and when we do add product, it's not gonna show up. So we haven't added that image, let's add that one. There we go, choose. So when I add this, uh, notice how it's not here. And the reason for that is Apollo pulls from the cache automatically. So it cached these two results. And when we added a product, what we need to do is we need to update the cache so Apollo knows about it. But if we were to refresh totally, the item would be there because it doesn't pull from cache because it's not stored there. We do see our item there. Um, so in the next video, we'll be fixing that by updating the cache and just continue working and filling out this page. Um, let's cool our little scroll working. But that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.